Hey everyone, have you wondered how AI works behind the scenes or why companies are building these massive data centers that seem to gobble up electricity like a hungry dragon? Well, today we're diving right into the world of AI and data centers and there is a new player in town called DeepSeek that's shaking things up. So let's break it down in simple terms with some fun analogies. So think of AI like a factory. This factory takes in tons of data, raw materials, for example, and turns it into useful AI models, which are basically basically think of it like finished products. But here's the catch. Running this factory is expensive. It needs a lot of power, space, and workers, or in this case, servers and electricity. Now imagine a new machine called DeepSeek enters the factory. It's faster, cheaper, uses less energy to make the same exact product. That's a game changer, right? Well, that's exactly what DeepSeek is doing for AI processing. It's making AI smarter, more efficient, and way more affordable. But here's where things get really interesting. When DeepSeek was first announced, it caused a bit of chaos in the stock market. So companies like Nvidia, which make the machines for AI factories, saw their stocks drop. Why? Because the investors started wondering, do we really need to spend so much on AI infrastructure if DeepSeek can do it better and cheaper? Even power companies took a hit. See, everyone thought AI would need massive amounts of electricity to grow, but DeepSeek's efficiency made people People question that. It's like finding out your electric car can go twice as far on half the charge. Suddenly, you don't need as many charging stations. So now let's talk about data centers. These are the factories where AI lives. Traditionally, they've been huge centralized facilities. Think of them as mega warehouses. But with AI growing so fast, we're starting to see a shift. DeepSeek's efficiency is making AI more accessible, which means more people and businesses will use it. And that means we'll need more data centers, but not just the big ones. We'll also need smaller local hubs called edge data centers. So imagine this, instead of one giant Amazon warehouse in the middle of nowhere, you have smaller delivery hubs in every neighborhood. That's what's happening with data centers. Big ones will handle heavy lifting like training AI models, while smaller ones will deliver real-time AI insights, like telling your smart fridge when you're out of milk. So here's the thing, all these data centers need power, lots of it. And as AI grows, so does its energy appetite. But DeepSeek's efficiency is helping here too. It's like switching from old light bulbs to LEDs. You get the same light, but with way less energy. Still the demand for power is growing, that's why companies like Microsoft are investing in renewable energy, solar, wind, hydro, to keep these data centers running without frying the planet. Now here's where it gets really exciting. Some experts believe the future of data center isn't just about building more of them. It's about decentralizing them. Think of it like this. Instead of storing all your photos on one computer and praying it doesn't crash, you spread them across multiple devices. That's what decentralization does for data. It makes system more resilient, efficient, and scalable. With AI growing so fast, we can't rely on just few mega data centers. We need a network of smaller, smarter ones, and DeepSeek is helping us make that possible. So what does this all mean? DeepSeek is like a rising tide that lifts all the boats. It's making AI cheaper, faster, and more efficient, which means more people will use it. And that means we'll need more data centers, both big and on small capacity. It's a win-win for everybody, really. Businesses get better AI, data centers get more business, and we get cooler tech to make our lives easier. So the bottom line really is that DeepSeek isn't just changing the game, it's expanding the playing field. And that's great news for the future of AI and infrastructure that supports it. So this was a quick one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tech content. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about the future of AI and data centers? See you in the next one.